hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to sup with my baby tonight and play the pup with my baby tonight. I'd like to sup with my baby tonight and play the pup with my baby tonight. But I ain't up to my baby tonight cause it's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to stop for my baby tonight. Blow my top with my baby tonight. I'd like to stop for my baby tonight and blow my top with my baby tonight. But I'd be a flop with my baby tonight. Cause it's too darn hot It's too darn hot It's too, too, too darn hot I'd like to fool with my baby tonight Every move with my baby tonight I'd like to fool with my baby tonight Break every rule with my baby tonight But pillow, you be my baby tonight Cause it's too Darn hot. According to the Kinsey Report, every average man you know much prefer to play his favorite sports when the temperature is low. But when the thermometer goes way up and the weather is sizzling hot, Mr. Adam, for his madam, is not. Cause it's too, too, too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to call for my baby tonight. And give my all to my baby tonight. I'd like to call with my baby tonight. Give my all to my baby tonight. Cause I can't hold my baby tonight. Cause it's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to meet with my baby tonight. Get off my feet with my baby tonight. I'd like to meet with my baby tonight. Get off my feet with my baby tonight. But no repeat with my baby tonight. Cause it's too Darn hot, it's too darn hot, it's too darn hot. I'd like to coo with my baby tonight and pitch some woo with my baby tonight. I'd like to coo with my baby tonight and pitch some woo with my baby tonight. But brother, you back my baby tonight. It's too darn hot. According to the Kinsey report, every average man you know. But when the thermometer goes way up and the weather is sizzling hot, Mr. Gob for his swamp, RGI for his tree by his not. Cause it's too, too, too darn hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. Man, it's hot. Come on.
ladies and gentlemen, um, this scene uh, that was to have opened the second part of The Shrew will have to be omitted this evening. This is the scene where I, Petruchio, take Catherine, my wife, to Verona. In this scene, on the mule, we have a slight accident where my wife rolls into the mud and then proceeds to revile me. Miss Vanessi is unable to ride the mule this evening. We are therefore <laughs> continuing with the next scene, which takes place in Petruchio's house. I thank you. <laughs> my stirrup, nor to take my horses. Where be these knaves? Where is Nathaniel? Uh, here, sir. Gregory? Here, sir. Philip? Here, sir. Here, sir. Here, sir. Here, sir. You logger-headed and unpolished grooms. Go, rascals. Go and fetch my supper in. Food. Sit down, Kate. Thou knowest full well I cannot. <laughs> well, then stand and be merry. Some water here, what ho? Come, Kate, shall I have some water? Wash and welcome heartily. Thou horse and villain, will you let it fall? Patience, I pray you, twas a fault unwilling. Thou horse and beetle headed, flat ear knave. Sit down, Kate. Oh. Oh. Will you say grace, sweet Kate, or else shall I? What's this, Martin? I. Who brought it? I. Tis burnt, and so is all this. <laughs> what dogs are these? Where be the rascals? Oh, patience, my husband. The meat was well if you were not so contented. Be not so disquiet. Kate, t'was burnt and dried away, and I expressly am forbid to touch it, for it engenders choler and planteth anger. And better t'were that both of us did fast tonight. Did you marry me to famish me? You shall eat tomorrow when we return unto thy fathers. Come. What news with thee, sir? You mean the hat that you requested, my sir? Uh -huh. Here. <laughs> Why, this was molded on a porringer. A velvet dish, five eyes, just even filthy away with it. I'll have no bigger. Uh, this doth fit the time, and gentlewomen wear such caps as these. Oh, when you are gentle, you shall have one too, and not till then. I am no child, no babe. Your betters have heard me say my mind, and if you cannot, best you stop your ears. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, or else my heart, concealing it, will break. Why thou sayest true, it is a poultry cap, a custard coffin, a bobbin, a silken pie. I love thee well enough, thou likest it not. Be gone, take it hence. <laughs> kind strangers, thou angels in disguise, who did help me in my hour of need, t'were better that you rested from yon chambers, in your chambers. <gasps> Go to! Come to! Come to! Oh, okay. <laughs> Come, Kate, tomorrow we will unto your fathers. I will bring thee to thy bridal chamber. I'm hungry. How canst thou think of food at such a time? And thus, I have politically begun my reign. And tis my hope to end successfully. She ate no meat today, nor none shall eat. Last night she slept not, nor tonight she shall not. As with the meat, I'll find some undeserved fault about the making of the bed. I'll here fling the pillow there, the bolster, this way the coverlet, another way the sheets. I, amid this hurly, I intend that all is done in reverent care of her. This is a way to kill a wife with kindness. 
He who knows better how to tame a shrew, now let him speak, tis charity to show. Kate, my body, Kate, my winsome Kate, Kate. In face, she shot the bolt. She did perform while I did act the dolt. 